It's called Shopping Cart Jail, a secluded, fenced-in lot hidden among the trees. Hundreds of shopping carts collected by the City of Federal Way. If the stores want them back, they have to bail them out, $25 each. So the intent of the program was to reduce uh, the amount of carts that were that had been abandoned. The city passed a law four years ago to create a financial incentive for the stores to retrieve their carts. But things have changed. The problem has gotten a little bit worse uh, with the increase in homelessness. There is an epidemic of unabated shoplifting, including the theft of carts and homelessness. The drug addicts steal from the store and then they steal the shopping cart and they're never held responsible for any of their actions. David Zumwalt was homeless, an addict, and now a drug recovery counselor, and shot this video inside the lot to prove a point. There was hundreds, and most of them looked totally functional. Functional is a key word, because if the stores don't pay the $25 impound fee, the city says all of these carts will be destroyed, and the stores will be charged for that too. It hurts the consumer. Because you go to the store and there's no there's no carts. What do you think about the fees? I think it's ridiculous. At Marlene's Market. Have you guys paid? We have. They're a small business, just two stores, and they buy recycled carts for 150 bucks. New ones run up to $400. We take a count every night. $50 to destroy a cart to us is a lot to Target and Safeway and Ross is not as much. I understand the reasoning for the fees, but I think they should also take into consideration the business. Stores are losing carts to theft at no fault of their own. We don't allow them to take them, it's theft. Now, a push to give them back. Give them back, like in an act of goodwill because he's penalizing the victims of theft. I think it would cost a lot less money to sanitize these carts and send them back to the stores rather than to haul them down to the dump. If you think Federal Way's shopping cart jail is an isolated case, it's not. Federal Way charges $25 per cart. So does Longview. Auburn charges $30. Renton and Lakewood, $100. And if those cities pick up more than 12 carts a month, it's $200 a cart. Yakima, $115. But no charge if the cart's locking device is disabled. On average, this bin is full of shopping carts. John runs the shopping cart collection program for the city of Renton. We are seeing more carts. We've been getting anywhere from 35 to 40 carts per day. His crew picks up once a week, and if the stores don't pay, the city recycles the carts. We saw perfectly good carts purposely smashed in this bin headed to the recycler. I would say 99% of them are functional good carts and they're very expensive. All the cities require labeling, like this cart just says, thank you for shopping with us. Really don't know where it came from, so it's destined for disposal. That's the part that makes me really angry. That functional carts are destroyed and not auctioned off or given to nonprofits to use or possibly the very same people that are stealing them to haul everything they own. The whole issue is a bad cycle. I mean, this is property that's been stolen from us and we're having to pay because it's been stolen. The Northwest Grocers Association has built a successful cart retrieval system in Oregon and is now hiring people to do the same in Washington state. It's just a bad situation and, and there isn't a great solution. So next time, if you can't find a shopping cart. I've been in a few grocery stores and there's no carts and I kind of know where some of them might be. Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.